Guess who's back? It's me again with another video showing the creation process of the Nissan Delta Wing or equivalent type car in our factor. And we've already had quite a few videos and well, my compliments to those who are still watching this. Um, today we are going to do the tires and this may be a really long video. In fact, it's going, probably going to be a few videos as these are so important and I don't really know yet what to do with them. So that's exciting, isn't it? Um, meanwhile, the, the pasta is cooking downstairs, so probably have to leave in a few minutes. Anyway, tires, hugely complex, and this is the most important thing of the spreadsheet. And I've basically uh, converted the R Factor tire model into, well, this numbers here, and more numbers here. And then, of course, that's not half of it, because we have, zooming out, we have a huge amount of data here. And then, naturally, there are rear tires as well. And we have another set of these data. So this is a whole load of numbers, which was a lot of work to make. But now you get these pretty things here. Before making the tires, uh, I'm going to show this off a little bit, naturally. Buttons here, taking control of these charts. And you can set the the zoom of these axes, so I zoom out to 24, or to 90, or to 1, or 24. So I have control over, uh, quick control over the, the axis uh, parameters of these charts. and. There are slip presets here that change what the charts show. So now this one shows me the front, lateral and longitudinal braking. I have to zoom to a ratio of 1. Uh, so this is the front tire in cornering and in braking. And perhaps I would like to look at the rear or look at the front braking on this one and acceleration on this one. So a lot of presets here. Compare front and rear lateral. Uh, something like that. Or compare front and rear acceleration. Currently these tires are probably identical but you can see that it's very easy to plot different aspects of the tire. Now these are just uh, curves that are hard to interpret so there are a lot of presets. In fact, this list from 61 all the way down to 186. So that's 121 things that I can plot from each for the tires, which is just a huge amount and easily gets confusing. So there are another few charts here where I can show some essential stuff, such as preset for load for all the tires and it shows how the friction coefficient drops with load uh, how the force builds up with load and change uh, the, the load sensitivity how much friction coefficient is lost as a percentage and the general shape of the load sensitivity curve this looks a all a bit the same but you can have four lines here let's just randomly enter some numbers So now you can see that if actually you can have uh, four tires here because it looks at the front, lateral, rear, lateral, front, longitudinal and rear longitudinal. Now there are lots of things to plot as I showed you. So if I want to plot something else here versus load then I can do so if there is... Uh, you can see the huge amount of stuff that I can plot. So I have some presets which make a lot of sense to me. I don't have to type these in manually. So this looks at lateral behavior. Uh, I've got something looking at the cornering stiffness tire, uh, looking at the pressure behavior, which is currently disabled. But if I 
give it a pressure sensitivity you'll see that everything changes in real time um, grip multipliers such as temperature which is currently disabled but when we enable it you instantly see all these curves change speed which is currently hasn't got any effect but it's easy to do so it's changing numbers in artifacts that don't, that don't make obvious sense and now I can see that this speed number results in a certain grip loss at a certain speed uh, the wear curve something with patch size which I don't really know what to do with but it could actually be quite useful with this car because the front tires are so different from the rear tires could be useful to look at the contact patch pressure and size and that sort of stuff so armed with this huge uh, number of charts that I can make it should be possible to create tires and predict their behavior rather than just entering some numbers